Hello ladies and gents, my name is Carl Feldman and today I'm going to be showing you how I will simulate a brute force attack on an Azure virtual machine and then we're going to investigate it using Sentinel incidents which is going to be generated by an analytics rule, right? So let me just go ahead and start. Um, you want to go to Sentinel I'm going to click here what you want to do is click on the data connectors Go to Content Hub. Search Windows Security Events and then install. Just wait for it to load for a little bit. I will go back to here, Microsoft Sentinel. Um, it's installed success, right? You can see that's installed right here. Click on Windows Security e Events via M. I mean A M A. Open Connector Page. And then I'm going to create the data collection rule, right? Uh, Windows event is going to be the rule name. Resource is going to be the virtual machine that we are basically simulating a brute force attack on. So I'm going to click on the actual virtual machine. That's the resource group. This is the virtual machine as you can see. Just apply. Go to collect next. Common. I, I don't want to look at all security events I'm just gonna to go to comment review and create just wait yes create deployment succeeded Go back to Sentinel. Let me see if it has been, it's not connected yet. Sometimes it takes five minutes, but it has connected. So that's a that's a good thing. It's connected quicker than I thought we would. What I'm going to do now is go to analytics, create a scheduled 
query rule. We're going to name this rule group force detection. Tactics initial access privilege escalation credential access. Going to write out the query rule right here. Well, the rule query security event where event ID. This is going to be for the failed logins. logins. Four six two five, which is a sorry. Let me go back. Two five pipe project time generated. Event ID Workstation name These are the columns we want information on Computer Account Logon IP address and then pipe again extend account and thirty account. Type again, extend again, IP, enter, T, IP address, and then you're going to entity mapping, uh, account, Full name account again and we want the query to run query scheduling for every five minutes and then here 30 look up look up the data from the last 30 minutes We want to set our automated re response to save and then we are going to go to the virtual machine to simulate the brute force attack next.
just come here, search VM virtual machine, go to the virtual machine that we connected to Sentinel, come to connect, use the native download the RDP file username is student use a different student and this is where um, simulating a brute force attack is just going to be me trying plenty different passwords which are obviously wrong to simulate that it's a brute force attack um, which is what would happen during a brute force attack so I'm just going to put loads of random I think that should be enough for now. We will go back to Sentinel to see if it's triggered the alert. Go to logs and we're going to query and basically search about it security event where event ID Remember, this is the failed login um, code that they use. And then I can run, press run. And that is basically the results that show you can see that's my IP address. This is the IP address where I've been trying to log in, log on on this account. You can see that it's student. The student. Um, you remember it was a student um, VM. The account of the VM was student. Go to analytics next. Where are the rules in play? Incidents. Nothing has come up yet. Might give it some time, so bear with me. We're just going to drink some water.
I'm sure I've configured everything correctly. Enabled. Yeah. This might take some time. Uh, and if it does, I might cut this clip till it pops up. Hello, yes, I am back. Um, we're going to check and see if everything uh, has uploaded and is ready now, as it was taking some time. Sometimes it does take its time, but that's all right. Uh, we're going to go to incidents. And you can see that the incident has um, popped up here now um, sometimes you might have to click refresh or wait a few minutes come back click refresh and you'll see it I'm going to click the incident and then click view full details at the bottom here let it load click alerts I've already run this query as you can you, you will just come here and click run and um, you can see some details about the the incident right you can investigate it here That's why it is very important to, to learn KQL and um, there's a lot on the internet on learning KQL. There are labs around. Um, the labs I've used is Cloud Academy and you can also go and on learn Microsoft. There's a lot on that. So that will help. Um, Click the let me go up quickly, and you can see here is the the um, the status which I'm going to close right now. I'm going to put as benign positive apply. You can you can basically change the status and the severity of the incidents. Whether you want to put it at high. Um, you can put it to high if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as medium. You can assign it to team uh, members, to admins or other team members um, if you think that it, it should be investigated or looked into by others, right? But for for now, I'm just going to to put it as benign positive and apply and just really close it and that's it that's it closed um, thank you for watching this video and just leave a like and a subscribe as I will be doing 